Today we're going to be talking about the hypo and hyperfunction of the adrenal glands. Where and what exactly are the adrenal glands? Well, they can be found on top of the kidneys where it is composed of the cortex and the medulla. Its normal functions are to release corticosteroids, the cortisol and the aldosterone, and also the sex hormones. Can the adrenal gland function alone? This is where the brain comes in. Particularly, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus excretes the CRH, which stimulates the pituitary gland to release ACTH, which signals the adrenal cortex to release cortisol. Still confused? Well, just think of a village. The first house will be the hypothalamus, then the pituitary gland, then the adrenal gland. The CRH from the hypothalamus signals ACTH from the pituitary gland to also signal the adrenal cortex to release both aldosterone and cortisol. But what happens when the adrenal cortex suddenly gets blocked? This is where hypofunction of the adrenal glands occur, also known as the Addison's disease. The symptoms will be the following mnemonics. Steroid 4, low sodium sugar, tired and weak, electrolyte imbalance, reproductive changes, blood pressure, increased pigmentation, and diarrhea, and nausea. Although there's one thing to be wary of, and that's Addison crisis. You'd only need to remember the letter S for severe vomiting, diarrhea, and headache, super low blood pressure, sudden pain in stomach, back and legs, syncope or fainting spells, and shock. For nurses, you need to monitor for the increase in blood glucose and decrease in potassium. Administer prednisone, do patient education to avoid stress, illness, and strenuous exercise. Do not abruptly stop medications to increase both protein and carbohydrates intake and regulate salt. On the opposite scale is the hyperfunction of the adrenal gland or the Cushing syndrome which is basically the abnormal increase of cortisol levels. We only need to remember S, T, R, E, S, S, E, and D. Skin fragile, bronchial obesity, round face, excessive body hair, sugar extremely high, triae, chymosis, and dorsal cervical fat body. One must also monitor for the increase in blood glucose and decrease in potassium. Signs of infection provide emotional support. Surgical interventions if tumors are found in the pituitary gland, thus hypophysectomy and adrenalectomy for adrenal glands. So, here are the symptoms manifested side by side for you to distinguish them clearly. Hopefully, that was helpful. Thank you.